Kim one just appreciate the metal form unbothered. Shake my head. No, I mean, have you seen what's going on with Stellar Blade? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna lean heavily on the side of no, it's not allowed. We all must be prudes. I don't know where any of the energy for Stellar Blade was whenever we were doing near Autonoma. Autonoma? Automata, but haven't seen it because I don't use social media. Keep it that way. Twitter right now with Stellar Blade is a cesspit of people screaming about super hot women. The other like side of the discourse is super hot women are unrealistic. I want my character to be attractive. Unless I'm having fun and playing Dark Souls and then we get... <laughs> Stellar Blade is spicy. I don't know if Stellar, Stellar Blade is going to be good or not. I know the demo is available and I know people are playing it and this queue is not popping. I'm hoping Stellar Blade doesn't suffer from the same problem that Code Vein suffers from, which this isn't a problem to a lot of people. It's a problem to me. I want to be clear. It's just, this is my opinion. But combat that doesn't feel weighty and combat that feels like my weapon or attacks are simply that is that is rude that is cold don't do you got me so excited for a second combat that lets the sword or or spear whatever weapon you're using pass through an enemy with no resistance and all you get is a sound effect and a flash of light that's not fun i don't find that engaging i don't find that enjoyable i find that dull i find that the gender I of the find characters in the hot spring change depending on the gender you choose in Code Vein. No. Did not know that. I haven't played Code Vein more than maybe 20 minutes. Can't fool me. I hear Q pop through my controller. You get that Wiimote crunchy. <laughs> I love the Wiimote crunch. Someone argued to me in Neverwinter Online that if they're going to play a game, they may as well play female characters to see a nice ass most of the game. I, I still prefer to play white male characters. That makes me immersed. We could talk about lazy, almost, what would you call it? Marketing-based pandering instead of genuine attempts at representation all day. Granted, this stream isn't the stream where I want to do it because I want to play 6.55. And I've talked about this on streams before. I'm annoyed at lazy companies not being genuine. Because then you have companies like Insomniac doing a really good job of being inclusive and showing characters you that aren't always represented in the most accurate way. And in that case, it's uh, Miles Morales. Like, he... It's we've only recently got proper like black hairstyles in games. I feel like that aren't just half ass attempts. I could not have started a more involved conversation on a more involved topic than, and gotten thrown into a raid that I do not know. <laughs> if I get behind in chat in this, I apologize. I've done this fight one time. It was yesterday. That's weird to me. You have to be a special brand of down bad if you need a female character for you 24 seven. I mean, I always play as a as a girl, like just full stop. I, I I always have and always do, and it's just because honestly, the clothing options in games with customization are usually better. Ratchet and Clank's so fucking good. Oh no! <laughs> Like, I want non-binary people to be included and happy with forcing others into it's not nice. I, I would, like, my take on it is that it's, 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 when it's a forced thing, it's, it's just lazy. And it displays that there's not genuine care behind the change or inclusivity attempts, period. They don't really care. Because if, if, if there is genuine care... It's set as an option, so everybody feels like they're being treated. Uh, what? Did I really get rezzed into this? Are you really? Really? I got rezzed into it. Okay. <laughs> that was on me. That was me. I clicked. <laughs> Terrible timing on me to click yes, resurrect me. Anyway, Stellar Blade looks... Visually, it looks really good. I don't know how the gameplay is going to pan out, though. And I don't have a lot of faith in Stellar Blade and its gameplay. Because every game that has looked like that, that has came out, 
has had combat that, yes, while it is flashy, it is always missing the impact that a good combat system has. It's always missing that visceral weight and that feeling of connection with the characters. Physically, like that physical connection. When my sword doesn't bonk nicely, it don't feel nice. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, I know you're saying it goofily, but it doesn't. It's like in Monster Hunter, if when you stunned an enemy, you you, you didn't get that nice frame stop. I, I don't know what you call it. I'm calling it a frame stop, but where the game feels like it hitches for a second because you hit the dragon so hard. If you don't have impact, it's like whacking them with a pool noodle. Yeah, kind of. If the pool noodle went through them. Because the important thing about impact is we don't... We're not at a point with gaming where the simulation is something you feel. So you, you need to visually communicate the intensity and the weight. You can't just have the action make a loud noise as the communication. Ah, no, I fucked up. That action needs to be communicated in a multifaceted way. That's so many AoEs. You, you need sound and you also need a visual representation of the resistance of the weapon. And I feel like games like Stellar Blade and Code Vein have nailed the sound and light show of the visual information, but they haven't nailed the visual representation of resistance. Make weapons not go through enemies. That actually helps. You can have them go through, but it's you need it to stop first. I don't have it on my local machine. I have a really good old shadow play clip of me stun locking Kushala Daora for uh, the whole fight. <laughs> Using the Nurgle Adjudicator in Monster Hunter. And the thing you'll notice in Monster Hunter, if people if you've played Monster Hunter, you'll know you'll know this. When you hit something with a heavy attack, it doesn't just fall through the enemy. It it collides it's and as if my sword was a paintbrush isn't head of a sword. And you know what? That's a good way to describe it. It is like a paintbrush. Like the noodle analogy, if you've actually hit someone with a noodle, you still feel some resistance with a paintbrush, though. If you just do the bristles, you kind of can tell you made contact, but there's no real feedback. But in Monster Hunter, if I wind up a heavy and I hit someone with the, the final charge slash in the Great Swords rotation, the game itself seems to breathe upon contact it seems to actually stop and let you take in the moment for two frames or so that oh this is a big powerful attack and then it continues on and it's a really nice thing to include <laughs>